let us read this word of god deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 42 deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 42 let us read this word of god the lord said to me say to them do not go up and do not fight for i'm not in the midst of you otherwise you will be defeated by your enemies god said to moses and the moses is explaining to the people said to them said to the people do not go up and don't go against for fighting do not go and fight for i'm not in the midst of you otherwise you will be defeated by your enemies if i am there i will fight for you if i am not there don't go up to fight against anyone because you will be defeated you will be you will be attacked wounded so this is what god said but still these people they disobeyed and they went thinking that the lord is with them thinking that they can handle it even if god is absent it's not a matter we can handle it alone this is what they thought but they were utterly destroyed because god has already told them do not go up and do not fight for i'm not with in the midst of you this is what god said to moses to tell israelites later they repented and they cried and said we are so sorry but god had told them said to them do not go up do not fight for i'm not in the midst of you otherwise you will be defeated by your enemies my dear brothers and sisters before you go for any fight against anything of evil any fight against evil evil spirits evil bondages or the sicknesses or any kind of ministry any kind of even preaching preaching is also a fight or anything that you do please make sure that god is with you otherwise do not go up make sure first everyone who does ministry whatever may be the ministry even small 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 jobs and responsibilities or bigger responsibilities make sure god is with you in every action that you do god is with you otherwise god won't be there and we will be defeated in every small ministry or even the small responsibility even a small fight we will be defeated so god says do not go up and do not fight because i'm not there in the midst of you i'm not there with you my dear brothers and sisters examine your conscience and see is god with you are you sure god is with you if god is with you you will be successful you will not be defeated by the evil one the evil one will have no authority on you but make sure god is with you make sure to go for confessions and repentance repentant repent and go for confession and make sure that you na- you are united to christ if not we will be defeated by our enemies so every family every christian it is our duty to examine our conscience and see whether god is in our midst god is in our family god is in our relationship with the husband wife relationship whether god is there in our ministry whether god is in our family we need to make sure if you think if you have any doubt about the existence of presence of god in your family because you see lots of signs of the lack of presence of god in your family then make sure that everyone repent and rectify it and go for confession and invite the presence of god into your family and otherwise our family is in danger so let us promise to god that we will we will make sure to have the presence of god in our midst so that we will be safe